Yeah, I'm audible now. Okay, welcome to Crack Grade B online learning platform. Today we will discuss the 35 days plan for NABARD Grade A Phase 1 exam. How should we prepare specifically ESI ARD plan we have given? We will discuss ESI and ARD. How we should approach, uh, how so we should uh, prepare specifically ESI, ESI and ARD topics for this exam, specifically for Phase 1. Phase 2 we will discuss later on after Phase 1 because you will be having enough time for the, in the NABARD for Phase 2 preparation. Yeah, I have seen some comments. Anshu Tawar, good morning. Yogesh purchases Crack Grade B course for Nabar Grade A course. Only the names of important schemes are given. Not only the names, one list we have given in the course that is a list of important government schemes. You have to cover all those government schemes which are given in the list. But these schemes you can find under the ESI relevant topics. We have covered all the important ministries under ESI and ARD relevant topics. You can find those schemes like MSME schemes are there. Education related schemes are under education topic. Health related schemes are health related topic. Poverty elevation chapter in poverty elevation chapter schemes relevant to this poverty elevation and employment. Unemployment. These schemes are covered. You can find in every chapter, 11th chapter, and we have clearly mentioned also in the name of the topic. ESI CA under uh, current affairs section is there. PIB we are separately providing. Newspaper current affairs we are separately providing. Agriculture current affairs separately we are providing. for phase one and phase two. Currently, I will suggest you to focus on phase one because this objective part will be prepared for the phase two. Objective will be uh, objective part that 50 marks paper will be prepared from this preparation. Only you have to target descriptive that can be done later on. So uh, we will discuss from, we will start from the ESI and uh, all those students who are new to this preparation or first time going to preparation prepare for this exam so first of thing uh, you should uh, watch our video analysis of four years ESI and ARD then you can start your preparation and those who are going to appear first time and have lack, I mean, uh, less time for their preparation so if you will uh, see the ESI paper specifically ESI 80 to 90 percent 90 and 95 we can say uh, last four years we have seen the question they have asked mainly from the current affair and government schemes so you can skip static part and you can focus on the government scheme and current affair budget economic survey some report section or two three chapters which you can do for the esi and then all other chapter you can completely skip so two three chapter i will tell you which uh, you should focus for this phase one preparation for phase one, all other static part you can skip if you want to clear this exam because in ESI, 90 to 95% questions will be asked from the government scheme and current affair, budget, economic survey and report section, RBA circulars. You can see the previous year paper analysis we have given that static part is hardly four to five questions are being asked. Brightness is too much. Let wait for a minute. I will reduce. Now it is fine. Some darkness is there, but uh, So uh, we were discussing ESI. So if you will see the previous year papers, the 19 to 95% questions are from the 
current affairs and government scheme, budget, economic survey, this part. So you can skip at least. Still brightness is there, or it is fine. Okay. So you can skip the static part of the ESI for phase one. Few chapters I will suggest from there questions are being asked. So I will tell you those chapters specifically. This uh, first chapter, nature of Indian economy. In this chapter, what you have to study for this exam? Different, different five years plans are there. Five years plan. You should uh, you should know on that uh, what when first plan was launched in India. First five year plan. What was the, the time period for twelfth plan? Which plan is called Mahalanobis plan, Gadgil formula plan? All these things you must know because these five years plan related questions are repeatedly being asked in the NABARD exam. RBI this year RBI in phase one general awareness they have asked about the five years plan. They asked first five year plan time period and twelfth five year plan time period they asked. So five years plan you must know. Second, you should study about Niti Ayog. Niti Ayog is very important. As you know that uh, this five-year plan, this planning commission was replaced by Niti Aayog. So Niti Aayog is very important. Other things you can study in this chapter that is current related, export import highlights of the India last one year, last uh, sorry last year annual export import highlights or latest one, whichever is uh, given in the current affair. Whatever is given in the current affair related to import export data, uh, just one month before the exam, they can ask. Otherwise, they will ask the annual. Means 21 to 22. This chapter you have to study. Inflation, inflation. Second chapter you have to study. Uh, definitions, various type of definition uh, in this chapter is given, like hyperinflation, deflation, stagflation. These are being asked repeatedly, being asked in the static part. So it is a means, uh, content is not too much in this chapter. And you have to study about these CPI, WPI, IIP, index of eight core industries. You have to cover the latest one. Means suppose exam in September. So uh, these data are being released around uh, 11th or 12th August during that period. So August month uh, release of these consumer price index, wholesale price index, index of a industrial production, index of core industry, static part of the, these index also. What are the different different components and what is the base here and what is the uh, data relevant to these latest data, latest figures you have to cram. Next third one is poverty elevation and employment generation in India. This chapter you have to study in this topic uh, in the ESI static part because different different poverty estimation committees are there. So many times in NABARD they have asked about the committee. So and various defini definition of poverty and employment and employment is important. So this is also important and all other things in this chapter you have to study the schemes of ministry of rural development housing urban affairs and ministry of skill development and entrepreneurship so these ministry schemes are important and in the course we have given uh, these schemes under this chapter heading only poverty elevation in india uh, poverty elevation and employment generation in india so this chapter is also very important in static part you have to study these next is population trend always one question is being asked from this chapter. Uh, most probably they will ask from the socio-economic caste census or census. You you can you don't have to cram every data given in the census 2011 because there is a lot of data. So basically cover important facts and figures. And SEC is important, more important than census. So you have to cram the data of the SEC. One question they can ask in phase one as well as phase two. So this is important. Next, agriculture characteristics. In this chapter, hardly they will ask the, any static concept, but they will ask the current affair related data. 
So static part you can skip. Only current related uh, import export agriculture GDP contribution. All these things you can uh, you will read from the current affair part and time period I have mentioned against each chapter how much uh, day you have to spend on the chapter parallel to you have to manage uh, your phase other subject preparation also QRE as it is a uh, query is qualifying in nature but I will suggest you to focus more on this ESI and ARD and agriculture schemes also they can ask and have been asked in previously under this uh, ESI also some schemes next chapter is non institutional and institutional agency is in rural credit so this is an important topic this is a very important topics for static part you have to study all these topics mentioned here we have mentioned and this pdf we will share in the, our telegram channel after this session we will share this uh, pdf in our telegram channel so you can see that what topic we have mentioned at least study this topic from this under this topic non institutional and institutional credit uh, agencies in india so these are different different schemes like lead bank scheme service area approach ssg bank linkage that is uh, studied under national rural livelihood mission also business correspondence business facilitator model uh, mudra bmj dy and these financial inclusion terms you have to study you can skip this uh, national strategy for financial education and national strategy for financial inclusion you can study some points of these uh, board documents because these are very bulky documents means there are a lot of data under these board documents but repeatedly we have seen that questions are asked from these documents psl priority sector lending is very important for nabard exam you can see at least two three questions from psl and kcc kisan credit card interest subvention scheme and priority sector lending so in phase one as well as in phase two in objective part you can see the question next is industrial and labor policy is not much important for the phase one because static part uh, I, I already told you that four to five questions they will ask so you can you can uh, do one thing that you can study uh, some highlights of labor code and epf4 esic and ministry of labor and employment schemes ESIC and EPFO applicability on which organizations the EPFO or ESIC is mandatory for which organization certain conditions are there so they can ask such questions so industry policy 1991 some highlights you can study don't study in depth don't much don't spend much time on this chapter it is not much important for the phase one next is rule I mean you can skip if you want to skip you can skip next is rural banking and financial institution in India reforms in banking financial sector so a yeah, different different topic we have mentioned under this chapter rural banking for rural if it, this topic itself rural banking so you have to study RRB RRBs are very imp important and cooperative banks and local area bank payment bank small finance bank all these things and the recent reforms in banking financial sector so we have to study latest development in this sector so all these topics we have mentioned and uh, financial institution you have to study india's financial institution like rbi sab nabad and uh, among these you have to focus more on the RBI and NABARD function because NABARD's exam is there. So NABARD function related question they can ask. RBI is important. RBI's monetary policy is important. They can ask the question from the monetary policy. And uh, this August monetary policy will be very important. Monetary policy meet, uh, monetary policy report of the August will be very important for this exam. So these topics we have and you can cover in one or two days these topics. So I have mentioned two days, those who are not spending full day on this preparation, then they can manage, uh, means they can allow, allocate a time for this preparation. Accordingly, they can make a schedule. 
नेक्स्ट इज ग्लोबलाइजेशन ऑफ इकोनॉमी रोल ऑफ इंटरनेशनल फंडिंग इंस्टीट्यूशन आई एम एफ वर्ल्ड बैंक डब्ल्यू टी ओ रीजनल इकोनॉमिक कॉरपोरेशन सो इन दिस चैप्टर स्टेटिक पार्ट कैन बी आस्क एंड स्टेटिक पार्ट दे कैन आस्क इफ समथिंग इज देयर इन न्यूज लाइक आई एम एफ रिलेटेड सम न्यूज इज देयर रिलेटेड टू द इंडिया इंडियाज मेनली जी डी पी प्रोजेक्शन आर बींग रिलीज बाई दिज ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो आई एम एफ वर्ल्ड बैंक डब्ल्यू टी ओ ओ ई सी डी ए डी बी यू एन सी टी ए डी हेड क्वार्टर हु इज द हेड एंड इफ दे प्रोडिक्टेड इंडिया जी डी पी दैट इज इम्पोर्टेंट मीन्स मेनली करंट रिलेटेड डेटा एंड इफ यू आर स्टडिंग समथिंग इन करंट दैन यू मस्ट नो द स्टेटिक पार्ट ऑफ दैट सो दिस इज इम्पोर्टेंट एंड रिसेंटली यू नो दैट एस डी आर बास्केट ऑफ आई एम दिस बाई आई एम एफ वॉच changed some ratio was changed so that is important that can be asked and reports of other uh, organization unesco unicef un uh, world economic forum who so these latest report at least last 3 4 months if any report is released by these organization that is for phase 1 is important for phase 1 and for phase 2 you have to cover at least one year report last one year report and uh, relevant to these organizations and specific focus on india specific focus on india these reports are being asked if some report international organization has released some report if you are studying then more give more focus on india related data because they can ask they will ask only india related data more next chapter multiculturalism demographic trend urbanization and migration so any data is there in news if related to this urbanization and migration and uh, socio economic caste census we already demo for demographic trends we are already we have already discuss about i'm just watching your comments also you can comment if you have any doubt you can comment here so uh, various definition related to migration they can ask but if you want to skip this chapter you can skip you can already you have already covered sec and any current related or any uh, fact is there related to migration data related to india that is uh, being studied by you under the report section recently that report of nso uh, in indian migration that is very important so gender issues in that next topic any report relevant to uh, this topic like uh, recently that global gender gap report by the world economic forum that is important and schemes of ministry of women and child is important and some uh, law related to the women and children is also important for this exam specifically and they can ask the schemes in this chapter and report so you have to focus more on the schemes and schemes and report under this section under this topic next is social justice social justice uh, we have seen, we have uh, observed one thing that uh, from social justice chapter hardly they are asking scheme in the nabar uh, exam but ibps uh, uh, sorry for rbi exam they are asking the scheme from this uh, ministry of social justice and empowerment every year in uh, not a single year they have missed uh, I mean, this year, so I think uh, two schemes were asked. Eight, uh, approximate 15 to 16 marks uh, schemes were asked from this chapter. So this is very important chapter. Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment. They can ask in the NABARD exam also. So this is very important topic. You have to study various uh, issues related to these SC, ST, and OBC. Like specifically, you have to study the schemes. schemes which has been recently launched or in news or some flexim scheme of this ministry and uh, there are uh, different different financial development corporation related to sc st obc and uh, one more thing you have to study under this chapter is sc st data as per uh, census percentage they have directly asked that what percent uh, 
of SC population is there in India as per census 2011. So social movement, this is a static. So you can go through the some important social movements in India, but uh, you can skip if you want to skip. Similarly, basic of parliament structure and Indian constitution, you can study uh, like uh, Lok Sabha, Rajya Sabha, President, Power, Prime Minister, and Indian constitutions, basic. You can study. If you want to study, if you have enough time, otherwise I will suggest you to skip this for phase one preparation, all those who have less time. So give more time to allocate more time to the government schemes because there are a lot of data fact and figure you have to cram because in this exam, I just ask facts and figures from the schemes. Next in health and education, you have to study the schemes and reports under this chapter and you have to cover only the flagship schemes. Do not study all the schemes and schemes in this chapter, you can study all those schemes which are recently in news means last four or five months, four months, you can target as, and one more thing I will advise you, parallelly do current affairs on daily basis and don't go beyond four months. Last four months, current affair is more than enough for this uh, phase one, as you have seen and we have, we are observing since last four years, four months uh, current affairs are enough for these exams. Schemes and reports you have to study that recently this uh, NFHS 5 National Family Health Survey 5 data was released. So most probably they will ask from this in this chapter, most probably and other report or any other data relevant to the health. It, if it is in news, then that can be asked in the this under this topic and similarly for education, any report last year UNICEF report related to the children education was asked in the phase two exam similarly they can ask and national education policy is very important every year they are asking question in phase one as well as in the phase two from the national education policy and recently um, one report is there in news udisc for district that is important that can be asked next is economic survey and union budget these are very important since uh, uh, last three years they have not asked much question from the economic survey but uh, 2017 I think there were number of questions from the economic survey directly in the phase one exam so it is important we cannot skip uh, economic survey also and in eco economic survey you can you can skip some chapter but you can focus on agriculture related data food processing related data MSME export import and GDP related data all other things, if you want to skip, you can skip. But these are the important topics of economic survey. These data you should know. They can directly ask. And budget is very important. Budget, you cannot skip any single line of the budget speech because budget speech is very important. Directly questions have been asked previously. And fiscal policy, basic, you should cover under this chapter. Next, scheme of remaining ministries. Those important ministry. Last In last, we will tell them name of the ministry which you have to target and uh, next is important reports important reports uh, last four or five months the reports which are in news in last four or five months that is important that is important for phase one and for phase two at least one year report you have to cover and for phase one you can go for the latest uh, six month reports that will be enough Current affairs, last four month current affairs, you have to study PIB current affairs, newspapers, and that we are covering in the course. Those who are studying our course, uh, focus on the current affair, what we have given the course. And RBI circulars are also important. They can ask the question in the ESI. And ESI static, again, I am repeating ESI static. If you want to study the static, skip the static part or you want to study some specific chapter. So I will tell you the first chapter you have to study nature of Indian economy, structural and institutional features. In this chapter, you have to study the planning commissions. They have asked the questions previously. So we, uh, they can ask like Mahal and uh, plan, which plan was it? Time period they can ask 
they can ask gargil formula plan they can ask first five year plan 12th year plan and someone uh, three year plan was there so they can ask the time period directly next inflation static part you have to study inflation types of inflation and cpi wpi iip poverty alleviation chapter you have to study in the static part poverty related definition employment related definition and various poverty estimation committee of in india that is important other th things are schemes population trend you can go for scc and the census 2000 one question will be asked so you want to skip you can skip and these two chapters non institutional and institutional agency in rural credit and rural banking and financial institution in india reforms in banking financial sector these two topics uh, different different topics we have mentioned you st static part you can stick to these other static part you can skip if you want to in esi specifically for phase 1 you have to cover the government schemes you have to cover the current affairs reports budget economic survey that is more important next is agriculture and rural development time period also i have assigned so how many days you should spend and 35 days we have taken and 10 to 12 days will be left that in that time period you have to revise this content and schemes we have shared a list of the important government scheme under our course so you can stick to those schemes and you can see that in the uh, rba exam no other scheme was asked whatever schemes we have given in that list that was covered from these and that list we will share in the telegram channel also i am watching your comments if you have any doubt you can comment here should we read third advance estimation or wait for the fourth which horticulture horticulture advance estimation must be read uh, mr jit this uh, we will check and we will update uh, we will check the time period when fourth is being released if it is uh, being released later on then uh, then you can you can uh, skip third one if it is being released before the exam we will check and confirm we will check and confirm if we, uh, this fourth one it will be released later on then we will update in the content so next is the agriculture and rural development and uh, in this uh, topic means in this subject uh, mostly questions will be asked from the static part and static part some specific chapters are there from their questions are means ma major portion of the questions will be asked so first is agriculture under this you have to study the various branches of agriculture that is important one question you can see from that any definition of agriculture branch classification of field crops that is important and simple agroclimatic zones various agroclimatic zones you have to study cropping system various cropping system in india and like cropping pattern and cropping system you have to study under this topic and previously questions are uh, being asked from this topic seed production seed processing seed village meteorology weather parameters precision farming system of crop intensification organic farming types of seed and certificate seed rate seed replacement rates dry land farming these are the general topic from which questions have been asked and you can easily find if you are preparing yourself you can easily find in cbsc books and crt books or google there are number of website where you can find easily find the content 
and you don't have to study these topics for agriculture and rural development i'm again uh, advising you don't study in depth because agriculture itself is a vast every subject agronomy there is a degree of four years so in agriculture engineering also this farm and agri engineering four year degree is there horticulture there is four year degree fisheries animal husbandry there is four year degree so you cannot study in 10 to 12 days or 15 days or 30 days all these subjects in detail so better analyze the previous year paper what area they have focused for the question and uh, you have to qualify the cutoff only it and last year you have seen that 53 or 54 was general category cutoff out of 100 they are 40 40 question in esi 40 question in agri ard and uh, 20 question from gh so other part you can focus more and target means specific chapter specific content under this chapter because if you will start studying the everything that is available on telegram or you or google then this will be really difficult for you because cramming is very difficult and in this uh, exam of that has been conducted by the ibps mainly questions are being asked fact based data based and when schemes you have to study lot of scheme data you have to cram so it will be difficult to cram everything in the agriculture and rural development part so I will suggest a study specific topic that has been mentioned here. Next is soil and water conservation, major soil types. They are asking every year question from this chapter. So this is also important. Maximum question you can see from the agriculture first chapter. So study this uh, carefully. This plan uh, you can uh, allocate a time if you are working, then you can allocate a time for this. Uh, as per the schedule we have given you how much time you have to spend like in ESI ESI if you in ESI if you are working then I will suggest you don't spend much time on the static part cover schemes and schemes we will tell the which ministry you have to focus and list of important scheme also we will share in our telegram channel and budget economic survey and current affairs RV circulars and uh, report section other things you can skip because four to five marks they will ask from the static part uh, under this uh, soil and water conservation major soil types their characteristics soil fertility fertilizer soil erosion soil conservation method water state management methods these questions can be asked so these are basic things basic and concept of this chat these topics you have to study and uh, water resource irrigation management types of irrigation sources of irrigation crop water requirement, command area development, various definition and various statistics also like coverage under micro irrigation, net irrigated area, what is gross irrigated area, what is annual rainfall in India uh, in different different zones, agroclimatic zones. So that can be asked, that has been asked previously also and can be asked. So you have to cover the basic concept of water conservation techniques, various uh, water conservation techniques, what are various types of irrigation, drip irrigation, micro irrigation, drip irrigation, last time phase two question was asked. So next is farm and agri engineering. This is also a vast subject, but at least you should study under this chapter. You can study the specific content. At least you should study. Uh, one minute. You should study under this uh, various type of equipment used in the agriculture, cultivation, processing, and uh, this. Uh, where is this? Mechanical equipment, electrical equipment, and under this chapter, you have to study about the renewable energy also, new and renewable energy, biomass, and biofuel, and uh, water uh, uh, shed management. We have already discuss this one and uh, agro processing mainly harvesting equipment this uh, crop harvesting equipment crop processing equipment and 
cultivation related equipments whatever equipments are being used so these things you can uh, stick means these topics on those you can stick your preparation and don't uh, go for depth because it will be difficult because there is a the, i have already told uh, told you that four years engineering degree is being uh, conducted by various colleges in this subject next is plantation and horticulture so this is also very important topic very important topic you can comment if you have any doubt website is saying an expected error occurred every time i am trying to make a new account so uh, it may be an issue linked with your chrome browser so update or reinstall your chrome browser then it will work next is plantation and horticulture uh, definition uh, this is very important topic definition at least you have to study meaning and branches agronomic practice and production of technology of various plantation and horticulture crops post harvest management and uh, plantation and horticulture crops some standard some basic uh, crops you have to cover study under this chapter at least don't go for all because it will be difficult there are number of crops you cannot uh, cram all the crops and uh, specifically you can see that in these topics they have targeted again and again definition and branches they have asked many times the question nutrient of plants many times every year they you can see the question from the nutrient of plants disease various terminology related to the cultivation of crop, crops like pruning puddling lambing these are type of terminology were asked so you can target to uh, target specific uh, content in these uh, topics like nutrient of plants disease various terminology in the crop cultivation uh i will contact you subr subranil uh, you can you can drop a sms on our contact number given on the website we will contact you and we will resolve your issue where can i find ard static mcqs under ard static mcqs are there under ard mcqs a different tab is there in the course so post harvest uh, management related terminology these the topics uh, under this plantation and horticulture you can target because if you uh, will start studying everything in the uh, plantation and horticulture it will be difficult so whatever all those subscriber of our content whatever we have given stick to that and next is animal husbandry that is also very important chapter this is very important chapter every year they are asking question so under this uh, different different topics are given like animal husbandry methods in india common terms pertaining to different species of livestock utility classification of breeds of cattle and uh, for, introduction to common feeds and fodder introduction to poultry so mainly questions are asked in this uh, uh, chapter from Uh, the topic breeds of animal and poultry many times they have asked only this breeds of animal and poultry so you should target breeds of animals poultry you should cram all these things because they will ask the question from this important terminology related to the livestock and the poultry livestock and poultry related definitions are there multiple definitions and various characteristics and various things you can find in the content that you have to stick to those and you have to study livestock census and data like milk and egg production statistics that we have updated in the content so you can study and all those who are preparing themselves so important terminology related to animal husbandry and poultry breeds of animal poultry 
livestock census, milk and egg production statistics. And you can find the animal husband related content on Google easily or on ICR web, some content by ICR is given in CBSC related uh, CBSC books are there. So if you will study those that will also suffice this requirement of this exam because everything is not possible to be studied. Next is fisheries. Fisheries also a vast subject. Fisheries uh, also a vast subject because there are lot there are lot of things related to the uh, this uh, fisheries like freshwater, fish water, and marine aquaculture. Def these definitions you should know. You should know these definition like what is freshwater, brackish brackish water and marine aquaculture, inland and marine uh, aquaculture, and uh, freshwater fisheries, brackish water fisheries, marine fisheries, inland and marine aquaculture, post harvest technology. Last year they have asked the post harvest uh, technology, related one terminology related uh, in this uh, from the fisheries. So fish production statistics that is under the current affairs part. Fish curing process, stuck, salting and smoking. That last year they asked so the post harvest man uh, tech, uh, management, post harvest technology is important. Fish breeds. Previously they have asked about the fish breeds. So different different type of breeds are there. So you should learn those and you should know if you are appearing in the exam. You should know these fish breeds and only fish. There are different different uh, terminology or. Uh, breeds we have given in the content like uh, the breed which uh, can survive in the in this hard water and uh, normal water so uh, some there are different different terminologies are there different different breeds are there so you should know those and don't go for all the things available in the google or you will find in the telegram whatever we have given stick to that if uh, I have one, one more thing I will advise all the students those who are watching this session or this video trust on the content which are you which you have subscribed don't go here and there whatever given but one thing uh, I would like to add, uh, tell uh, all our subscriber our content is the most specific content means it is enough for this exam. It is enough for this exam. You don't have to go here and there and don't compare the content with others. What they are providing, they are providing some, some students come to us and call to us and that you are not providing this content. You are not providing this content under this ARD. Uh, I'm again telling ARD is a vast subject. So it, it is not possible to be covered everything in and uh, you cannot cram all the things in such a short span. So I will suggest whatever we have given, study this and previous year and based on the previous year questions and last three four analysis, we have developed this content. What is whatever is specific we are providing. If we will dump everything, if we will dump everything what is available, then you cannot study in the less time or you cannot revise this. It will take six months at least. If you, we will start adding everything relevant to these topics, so it will not be possible and it is not good. Because you cannot revise then can you cannot revise that content if we will start providing everything. So we are providing the quality content and the specific content. What is important? You have to cram the things. Uh, you have to cram the government scheme. You have to cram the current affairs, budget, economic survey, reports, survey circular. There is a lot of data, so you can no, it is not possible to cram everything. So whatever we have given, stick to that. Next is forestry. Simple concept of forestry you have to study. And uh, forest report 2021. Ministry of Environment related recent development. Uh, that is, you can study under the current affairs. Social forestry, agroforestry. Social forestry, last time phase two, they have asked agroforestry the definition can be asked joint forest management and forest right act and 
under this tribal affairs ministry of tribal affairs schemes you can study and uh, next is agriculture extension its importance and role methods of evaluation of extension programs role of kirshi vigyan kendra so various important institution related to the agriculture that one or two question you can find from the various uh, important institutions in india related to the agriculture next is ecology and climate change they have not asked much question from this chapter means one question you can find so whatever is the recent development under these topics we have mentioned whatever is there in the current affair related to the environment you have to focus on that and uh, these topics at least you have to focus cop 26 is important for this economic ecology and climate change because it was uh, uh, this cop 26 is the latest as it was in news so you have to study this next is present scenario of indian agriculture and allied activities you can see number of question from this topic present scenario current affairs under this chapter what you have to study agriculture statistics agriculture census you have to study in agriculture statistics what you have to study this uh, agriculture gdp contribution in india gdp livestock gdp contribution and uh, fisheries contribution in india gdp various uh, data related to the production annual production annual area covered annual horticulture production food gr grain production which state uh, is means uh, rice is produced in which state like wheat is produced highest in which state who is that uh, like vegetable production food production specific fruit specific crop products Uh, sun is the highest in which state such type of things you have to cover in under the agriculture statistics and those who are preparing theirself it can be find in the directorate of agriculture statistics website or ministry of agriculture annual report and one agriculture statistics at a glance 2021 there is one document that available directorate of Ag agri statistics and economics i think and that exact website i will share the link in the uh, telegram channel those who are preparing and those who are our subscriber they don't have to start we have already updated the all these things in the agriculture statistics document annual report of ministry of agriculture farmer welfare that we have taken whatever is the content important from this minis report nabard rep annual report latest has not yet been Released by Nawar that we will update once it is released. Ministry of Fisheries, Animal Husbandry and Dairying. This also data we have covered in our content. So import export highlights related to the agriculture, fisheries, animal husbandry related products, milk, egg, meat, fish, and uh, various agriculture crops. APDA website, MPDA website, MSP. schemes of ministry of agriculture farmer welfare ministry of fisheries animal husbandry day thing these schemes are very important these can be asked in dsi as well as agriculture and rural development priority sector lending again very important topic kisan credit card agri census agri related current affairs of last 6 uh, four, four to five months of agri current affairs are important next is rural development and uh, rural development concept of rural area structure of the indian rural economy means uh, this panchayati raj institution related that 73rd amendment act and various committee related to the panchayati raj that is important and uh, various schemes under this chapter can be asked from the ministry of rural development schemes are very important of ministry of rural development and panchayati raj under this topic you have to study various uh, old schemes also can be asked under this chapter so you have to study the history of mg narega national rural livelihood man uh, national rural livelihood mission these are important scheme under the, uh, before these schemes there were other schemes so you so you should go with you should go through the those schemes also but uh, 
they have not asked but chances are there they can sometimes they can ask the history of these schemes so i'm jinrega nrlm rjvika rural drinking water program currently jal shakti program jal jeevan mission sorry jal jeevan mission rural housing and other rural development programs means latest flagship scheme of the ministry of rural development and jal shakti panchayati raj that is very important for this chapter and uh, as per well the previous trend they are asking uh, the scheme of rural development under esi they are not uh, asking the question under the ard section so time period we have given and topic also we have mentioned which topic these topics you have to study under these chapters so if you have any doubt under this uh, you can comment let me check your comments yeah so ministry to be focused for the government schemes this ministry uh, from uh, these ministries question maximum question will be asked so don't go for all the uh, schemes or all the ministry for this uh, esi and ard preparation ministry of rural development very important flagship scheme you have to focus ministry of rural development ministry of rural development flagship schemes you have to study next ministry of panchayati raj and institutions and list of the important schemes we will share and uh, like ministry of rural development uh, under this what will be the what are the flagship schemes anyone can comment sir i have studied economics in my graduation taking only notes will be good or not uh, economics statistics i have again uh, i have already told you that statistics i uh, economic statistic is not much important for the phase 1 only government scheme current affairs budget economic survey and some part i have told in this video you can study those sir add more question in fssi cbt24 cbt2 we have uploaded two mock test and uh, remaining will be updated progressively whatever we have committed that we will update progressively so anyone anyone can comment what are the schemes if you are preparing uh, a, a yourself so you can study ard from the icr website there are lot of content but it will be take a time because you have to filter out the content and uh, second thing you can study from the cbsc books are there some notes you can find on the cbsc website or if you google then you can find the very good pdfs from there if you will stick to those pdfs that will be enough to clear the cut off or at least to clear this phase 1 and phase 2 i have seen that some part of static only being asked in the objective and mainly in the descriptive descriptive you can easily prepare a topic wise yes our course is enough so anyone can tell me the flagship scheme under ministry of rural development what are the flagship scheme you can comment one person has comment only PMSKY. Which scheme it is? PMSKY. Yes, MG Narega, NRLM. Swamitha scheme, Urban Mission. Yes, these are the important. these are the important schemes yes these are the flagship schemes like uh, mg narega pradhanmantri awas yojana national rural livelihood mission sansad adars gram yojana and uh, urban mission these are very pradhanmantri gram sadak yojana these are the flagship scheme you have to study all these things schemes 
and if uh, you are not able to find the compilation of the schemes because in this in these exams which are being conducted by ibps schemes are being asked in the depth they will ask questions in much depth fact and figure so if you are not able to find the compilation of the schemes you can visit the ministry website and uh, all those who are subscriber of our content we have given the compilation in the course under esi and under ard and uh, these compilation is uh, done uh, from the ministry's website and one more thing those who are preparing their self uh, they can find these schemes under the ministry annual report mostly schemes will be there under the that ministry's annual report last year report you can visit uh, you, uh, you can uh, go through the last year report those who are preparing their self but those who are our subscriber don't uh, go for the annual report because it will you will spend you will waste your time if you will lose those who are our subscriber if you will start searching because it will be a difficult task but all those who are preparing themselves they can easily find the scheme because the, in, in the ministry's annual report they have given the fact and figure in detail so you can cover from those next is panchayati raj institution agriculture farmer and welfare ministry of fisheries animal husbandry and dairy ministry of skill development and entrepreneurship ministry of tribal affairs food processing and industries ministry of tribal affairs is very important every year they are asking the scheme animal husbandry skill development these are the most important ministry these uh, uh, ministry of food processing industries tribal affairs minority affairs is not much important labor and employment but uh, question can be asked from the minority affairs also as it is a topic in the syllabus ministry of new and renewable energy this is also important topic they have asked many times question from this uh, ministry ministry of finance is always a important ministry of jal shakti housing urban affairs ministry of msme ministry of education social justice and empowerment health and family welfare so you can do you can do you can do uh, these ministries flagship scheme only don't go for the all the schemes even uh, all those who are our subscriber we have given uh, additional schemes also under these ministry means all the active schemes we have given under these uh, ministries but you can go for the selective schemes or the list we have given in the course so stick to those schemes and it will be enough we there are recorded lecture currently and uh, esi live class uh, we most probably we going to start at the youtube channel our youtube channel today or from tomorrow all esi topics will be covered in that uh, live classes decision making part you can study from the google with the help of google or in our course we have added the content of decision making pdf of notes we have covered based on the last year questions pattern so if you have any other doubt you can comment or you can contact us on the contact number given on the website any comment any question you can ask regarding your preparation related to nabard exam how to prepare for finance main specialist the syllabus is given and uh, you can find all the content related to those topic from the ica website ica website if you will check there are all the things available uh, means all the topic mentioned in the finance stream syllabus you can easily find there you, you it will take hardly one day collect all those material and you can start uh, you can study all those topics mba dual specialization with marketing and finance you you can whatsapp us with the details and we will check and we will confirm 
सर हाउ मच टाइम इट विल टेक टू कम्प्लीट द सिलेबस फॉर फेज टू फेज टू इट विल नॉट टेक मच टाइम बिकॉज मोस्ट ऑफ द थिंग्स यू यू विल स्टडी डरिंग द फेज वन प्रिपेरेशन only the descriptive part you have to study and descriptive part there are standard question they will ask and uh, we will give a list of uh, question answer format last year also we we give we gave uh, question answer format descriptive content and maximum questions were covered under those any other question yes free interview will be provided for the paid students we provide free interview guidance all those who are our subscriber i have taken the course how much time daily i have to put as i am my working candidate so i have given the list of the topics or list of the things you have to study under in this video in the pdf uh, and uh, accordingly you can manage your time how much hours you are spending daily at least 3 4 hours uh, you should uh, you should give at least 3 4 hours and weekend on weekends matlab we you have to spend full day then you can easily cover in in phase 2 question will be statement means they will give a paragraph but there is that is not much relevant to that question question they will directly ask means you can easily guess which scheme they have referred in that paragraph and you can easily answer if you know the scheme fact and figure and in descriptive they will ask the direct question last time they asked the direct question any book for eco and si again i am telling that for this regulatory body exam no book is enough no book is enough because pattern is different for these exams they are not asking the static topic they are asking the topic mix of uh, current affair government schemes budget economic survey some portion of the static part only so it is not useful to study uh, book for these exams because you it will be a, means waste of time because few chapters only you should study if you are studying first time means you know you don't know any basic then you can study some basic chapters and uh, you you are non finance or non commerce background or any student who are uh, who want to clear their basic so they can they can study the indian economy by vivek singh that is available free pdf is available in telegram also indian economy by vivek singh you will get a you will you will uh, you can clear the concept of economy sir from where we should cover the ga part of 20 marks uh, we are providing a pdf under current affairs section that will suffice this under current affairs on the home page of the website or you can uh, go for other sources if you want to go last two month current affair will be enough for the general awareness part for esi and ard maximum four month current affair and uh, for this Uh, general awareness two months is enough because only twenty question they will ask and the RBI there were eighty question but they stick to the three four months so this will be enough uh, this two months will be enough for the GA part and uh, ARD and ESI again I am advising you stick to the four months and those who want to study more maximum you can go to five six months don't go beyond that some students uh, call and uh, they they will ask that they should study 9 months one year but i will suggest they have never asked the question from the old current affairs means 9 to 12 months they have never asked so one one question one or two question you can find but for that it is not a good thing to study 12 months or 9 months current affairs because there is lot of data and facts and figures 
yes reports sometimes they have asked so that is in uh, phase 2 specifically they have asked the reports of at least uh, 9 to 12 months so report section you can cover of at least one year so i am winding up this session and uh, we will start a, a revision session uh, for this uh, navad grade a phase 1 exam very soon in that we will cover the ard topics we will cover the schemes esi daily live classes we are going to start from today and tomorrow Sir, what will be the gap between pre and mains? At least one month or more than one month you will get. Don't worry. Yes, you can do that. Uh, if you have time, then you can search the topic on Google and you can make notes if you have time. But uh, if you will uh, find, you, you can go through the CBSC PDFs. Uh, you can search in the Google. Most of the content related to these topics, you can easily find of specifically for ARD. So I'm winding up the session. Thank you for watching. And uh, we will uh, come up again with live session and keep guiding you. Thank you and happy learning.